guys, Nick from Surf Fishing in SoCal. We've been uh, really procrastinating on this beaches series, but we're gonna hit Mission Beach today. You can kind of see where I'm at. We've got obviously the water. That's the jetty. All the swimmers over there closest to the rocks. You guys don't want to be that close. Yep, you guys. That's where all the stingways are, as well as the big undertow. So try avoiding that area. Thanks. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Mission Beach. We'll see you technically South Mission. I'm at work. I'm at work all the way. I don't know. I can't imagine myself going more than 300 yards north. It gets crowded over there, but let's take a look at what we're seeing. So really kind of a nice day. A little, little windy, but surf looks good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of structure just yet. I see a couple fishermen. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna start myself off a bit further north than I was thinking just because the people, and that's the trouble with Mission Beach. There's so many people, I, I tend to avoid it, but the seaweed actually doesn't look bad. It's typically a lot worse than this from what I remember. But uh, let's get into it. So as we head a little further north, we can see a couple really good holes. There's one right in front of that swimmer slash uh, boogie border. You can see the water kind of losing this crest right there. You see it right there. So a little bit of a lack of a crest means a deeper hole. And right here where these two swimmers are, that looks money to me. That's a nice deep pocket. You see the waves really aren't breaking regularly there. Watch this white water. See how there's that gap in there and the white water is actually dissipating? That's a nice hole there. So if I can find sand crabs, I definitely want to try this area out. But it actually looks like it's getting better and better the further north I go right now. So kind of disregard what I said in the beginning. I might be fishing pretty far north. I'll, I'll stop here for you to get a better image of this. But check out that. So where the waves aren't breaking, that's the deeper hole that we're looking at. You can see this white water here. Watch the white water just beyond those two swimmers. See how to the right of it is not breaking and now just past the swimmers, it is not breaking anymore. That's because there's no footing that the ground drops off there so the wave doesn't have the support to form that crest. And there's a whole gap of it right here. So that, I mean, there's gotta be fish hanging out there. So it's sand crab getting time. I'm really not seeing very many, but I think I'm just not used to the sand structure over here. I can see a little bit of divots here. I'm just gonna go for it. Got a few there. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely here. They're just some beaches. The texture of the sand is just a bit different than others, and some textures just don't show the sand crabs very well. So it's always good to just guess and check if you can. And for those of you who haven't watched the video on finding sand crabs, one, go do it. You probably should. Um, it's pretty helpful, but two, these right here are like max I would ever use. This one is too big in general. My go-to, one of those, maybe two of these guys. That's perfect. Even I go away, I get away with one of these. This is as big as I'd go. No bigger than that. Alright, and for a gear and tackle that I'm using today, make sure to check the link in the description. That's going to have everything outlined very clearly. I'm actually going to link a page to my website that literally tells you exactly what I use and exactly how I rig it and why I, why I use it and rig it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. 
I'll hook a couple sand crabs. I'm just gonna use one for now on this size. Send them out there. And we can totally see that structure we're fishing. Watch this wave right here. Watch it lose its crest right there. So from there to where it breaks, there is our hole. I've got a little more room on my left, really. I think the hole's a little bigger as we inch left. And I'm just keeping tension. Always listen and feel what the waves are doing and how they manipulate your line because you need to counteract what the waves are doing to your line in order to keep proper tension. Because if you don't have proper tension, you won't be able to feel that bite. So that just kind of pulled my my bait down and that was just the wave there sucking it out. You see the waves snap over, the current's going out, it's always gonna create a little more tension and you need to dip that rod tip down to make sure your bait doesn't pop towards you because every time you pull a little too hard, you create that slack, you bring your bait in closer and all that does is create a lesser window for your bait to get hit by a fish. And obviously that's not a good way to catch fish. It's so really a good looking spot, but spent about, I don't know, maybe five minutes fishing it and no bites. Uh, and if, if I had more confidence in this spot, I'd stick around and fish a little more, but I want to see if I can find that bite. Any luck? Any luck? Not yet, Nothing? You just get here? Uh, I just like 15 minutes ago, yeah. Good luck. This section looks money. So right behind these two, yeah, whatever they're doing. Uh, oh man, they are in the zone. Check out all that water that's not breaking, no waves. Watch this wave, it's gonna disappear. Oh, you see how it struggles and then disappears? That's gold. Let's see what we got in here. And hits let's go that felt that felt good it hasn't run any yet but it's got some weight he's not giving up that's for sure oh I feel a run coming <laughs> oh the seaweed That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Oh, he did not want to come on that. That's a nice one. That's my first big Corbina of the year. It's a good one. Not bad, not bad. If I don't hook up here in like five minutes, I'm going back over there. Like, How far were you? I was in front of the, the blue canopy. Oh, I just got hit. Decent. No, it's probably, it's a yellowfin croaker, a perch. It's not that big. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, just a yellowfin croaker. 
That's a big one though for a yellow and croaker. That's good for bait. Your bait's been in the water about 45 seconds, dude. Give it some time. It's drifting. I walk with it. Just keep your, keep your line in front of you. Keep walking. They drift too. They do. That's a good fish. That's not a bad fish and I didn't feel it. I mean, if it's not a guitar, heck yeah, but I don't know how I wouldn't have felt anything, anything else. It's a guitar. Ugh. I got them all wrapped up maybe. It's amazing how well these little guys fight. Alright, so there's my 10th fish on the day. Again. Oh my gosh, the bite is on fire. And that's another. Surfers. 